coming into this internship, one of my big goals was to really prioritize the value of rest and Sabbath. And that was one of the big goals that I made for myself in my Christian spirituality goals was taking the time from Friday when I get off of work until Sunday after church to just not be engaged with, with school, um, as I often will struggle with just taking on too many things and not resting in the Lord as much as I should have or as I should be doing. And so that was a goal that I kind of just gradually built up to where it started as just having Friday afternoon off and prioritizing things that give me life and joy in the Lord. And that was something that I slowly built all day onto Saturday and figured I might as well just carry it until Sunday after church. Um, and I think we see this heart reflected in creation where God took time to rest. And we see it carried throughout scripture where um, I think of the story of Mary and Martha. And I've just always really struggled with the idea of taking time to be devoted to the Lord in the middle of many distractions. And I knew this was a season in my life where I would have a lot of different things that could be vying for my attention, that could be distracting me. And even though these things are good, like finishing my time here at DTS and getting ready to graduate and serving in church and planning um, to get married and just being able to care well for my friends and to disciple. And these are all really good things, but that has just been a struggle where I try and pick up, I try and overcommit and therefore I don't rest. And so in my, in this past year, it has been really hard to hold to that. Um, the Lord has been kind in helping me stick to that and um, to have good accountability to really just help myself rest and lean into the Lord. And one of my favorite um, things that I've started doing in this time is to just spend Friday night, to spend a moment on Saturday and to start Sunday where I just envision myself um, kind of sitting in a peaceful place. It's I love to just be on the move. So to envision myself sitting in a special place. And for me, I think of that place as this place on a mountain um, that I went to this past summer where I was just like the most at peace. And in that place, I envision Jesus coming and I envision him sitting next to me and each time I have a little bit different of a reaction of, you know, what I would do. Um, oftentimes I would just lay my head on his shoulders and in that like representation and visualization, I can just feel the passage where he says, come to me, all you who are weary and I will give you rest for your soul. And I just feel this almost lifting of burdens as I know I can come into his presence. Um, and it just puts a lot of those things that I try and make so big and ultimate and that can so easily cause um, just distraction from maybe what's devotional. And it just reminds me that the greatest thing that I need to do is just to um, abide in the Lord. Um, and that's something that I have been so encouraged doing. It's something that I plan to continue doing after um, my time here at DTS is just envisioning myself sitting with the Lord and him saying, what burdens are you carrying? Give them to me. Um, you were troubled by many good things, but only one thing is, is eternal. And that is abiding in him and allowing him to give me the strength to view everything else as as worship. Um, and so I'm super thankful to have had this as an opportunity to have had this as a challenge because it's really just been good to build that spiritual muscle moving forward. And I'd really appreciate prayer moving forward just as I kind of phase out of some things here at DTS as I get ready to graduate and um, get ready to get married and move and just move across the street on campus, but still move nonetheless, that none of these things would distract me from what matters most and that the Lord in my community would help me to set good rhythms moving forward rather than me just taking on so many good things because that 
in the past has very much led to weariness and burnout. And I want my yeses to be yes, even if that means I have to say some hard no's. So I would really appreciate prayers for this. And thank you again for the journey and for allowing us to have these goals that have just benefited me greatly over the course of this past year.